when Channing takes that job away from her, the only good thing that could possibly come out of it is that she will go to Jake and say, you're absolutely right, let's, let's quit this place, let's go. Immediately after that, she runs into Ferguson, who tells her with a certain amount of glee, finally, because of course the audience has known this all along, that she has been operating all of Jake's actions. She's been pulling his strings and that everything that has happened between us has been at her, her bidding. She's manufactured the whole thing. Joan that just can't help getting a little overexcited when she sees a plan coming to the kind of pointy end and coming to fruition and she just, when um, Jake isn't as reliable as she hoped it would be, she starts to take the matter into her own hands and has to deliver that coup de grace herself. I think partly because she just doesn't want to miss out on the extreme psychic pleasure of bringing Vera down. It's really the lowest point in five seasons of this show for Vera. And at that point then, obviously, I think we've passed the point of no return with Vera and Jake. and. and She's crushed because she's just told him that she loves him as well, you know. And there's that great moment, there's a beautiful moment where they, they both realise that we, we're just going to both escape. But then, of course, Ferguson finds a way to just kind of draw people back into her sphere. I like to believe that he did love Vera and he, he meant it when he said it. And the fact is that he was hoping that he could put his past behind him, but he's done the deal. He sold his soul to the devil and there's no going back. Uh, she successfully managed to make an enemy out of everybody. What she doesn't see coming is that they've all joined forces to try to, um, to take her down. The most disturbing thing for Joan is that she exposed herself, that her self-control slipped. And, um, and as a result of that, she gets into a bit of trouble. No matter what has transpired, she could not stomach that as a death for anyone. Vera's response is no one, no one deserves that kind of brutality. 85 people and a hanging and principal um, actors all with a different attitude. So it needed a lot of coverage, it needed um, a hell of a lot of planning. I would sit out there on the weekend by myself walking through all the different actions that I needed the actors to do. The overwhelming thing that I took out of it was that I found it incredibly moving. Um, not uh, professionally moving, vocationally moving. Um, because everybody worked so hard and everybody, uh, you know, it was one of the biggest scenes. We had cranes and you know, um, a, a, a yard full of extras. Um, uh, it was such a beautiful thing to be part of. It was really, really exciting. Very few people can do what she did. Even though that nothing could go wrong because she wasn't effectively attached to that rope, it was a wire that was harnessed down her back, she scared the life out of me because she was so believable.